No water and no answers from officials. This has left taps dry in most parts of the area over the past few weeks. But parts of Johannesburg are still going through quite a dry spell. And disgruntled residents are even taking a stand, saying enough is enough. ENC a reporter Thonim Timkulu is on the ground now tracking developments. So let's cross back to her and see how exactly uh, the protest march is going at the moment. Thoni, uh, as I welcome you back, um, you know, I mean, we're talking about a situation that has left residents without water for about seven weeks now. What's the latest from where you stand? Yeah, Dumelo, so um, we just heard now the councillor has arrived that it is day 53 since uh, they last had water. So that is seven weeks and approaching seven and a half into eight weeks now. And so uh, residents here of South Hills are feeling very frustrated. And there's a number of issues that they point out. But again, and we've been saying this since the beginning of the week, that the explanations that are given by Randwater and Joburg Water are just not holding at the moment. We just heard someone say, we pay Johannesburg Water. So whatever the issues that Randwater water and Joburg water are having, that's not our issue because we pay Joburg water and so the city must give us the uh, the water that we pay for. Uh, there is a construction or development next to where uh, the residents are and that seems to have water even though the residents themselves don't have water. So there's a lot that's kind of happening. I'm going to speak and bring in the ward councillor now, Faiza Chain. Just, um, Faiza, first of all, just your response to what the community has raised around their water supply issues. I, I can see that the residents are very angry, they're protesting, and I do not blame them. Nobody wants to be without water for day three. We had a meeting with the mayor, and the mayor said to us that, is, that we, need to, um, we need to do a task team. We have a committee with a task team. But once again, it's like I also feel now that they want to put their obligations up to us. The mayor has a full house with Joburg Water and Ran Water and his officials. Why must we do the job for them? Why does he want the residents to be part of the task team? The residents just want to see water. And um, like I'm saying, I, 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 I do not condone what is happening here with the burning of the streets, etc. But um, it is also not right. You cannot blame the people. The people are angry. And just um, from a ward councillor perspective, um, what are you doing to help or to ensure that uh, there is water or that there are processes to make sure that they do get their water supply? Yeah, I am in communication with Joburg Water every single day to make sure that they send educate trucks in with water. But my issue with Joburg Water is they do not even phone me to tell me that the trucks is on the way. I've also made a request to them is when the trucks come in, they must at least blow blow their hooter so that people can know that the trucks are coming in. They're not even doing that. I've got residents this morning, like in, like in some of Risana and South Hills, that said to me for two days they have not even seen the truck in our area. So that is a huge concern to me. Um, and then just way to now, uh, there was some disillusionment and we've been saying that uh, there was some unhappiness, even with just the work that you've been doing. Way to now for the residents. <laughs> Um, I have been speaking now to Joburg Water. They are on their way here now. So, so Joburg Water owe it to our residents. They owe them an explanation. We're going to wait here until Joburg Water comes here and they need to explain to this residents when will they have water. Residents just want to see water. They don't want to hear about the levels of the reservoir. They, they don't want to hear issues between Joburg Water and Rand Water. They just want to see water. Um, I am going to move to resident Jangula, can we speak to you just maybe briefly um, on what has been said by the ward councillor and Uzuzo Anjani just about what has been said today? No, I'm going to say that 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 Thank you. So, Dumelo, um, residents are still, they hear what the ward councillor is saying, but they are still waiting. First of all, again, they want their water supply, but they say that they are waiting for officials to come. And uh, ward councillor Fraser Chen did say that Rand Water and Joburg Water are meant to come here. Just to say, we have also been trying to get hold of Joburg Water and Rand Water. Uh, Rand Water did just uh, send out a short statement.
statement to me to say that they have experienced some challenges which they've told to Joburg Water. Joburg Water held that briefing yesterday to say that they're not getting enough supply from rainwater. So it's this back and forth that residents are caught in the middle of between uh, Joburg Water supplying that water to them and the bulk water supply rainwater not seemingly supplying enough water to Joburg Water. Ultimately, residents don't have water. Who knows who's going to take accountability, uh, who explains the problem, who ensures that there is water pumping. But I think ultimately, again, residents just want the water that um, they, especially these residents say that we're paying for water. Why are we not receiving these services that we are paying for? Dumelo. All right, Fonu, of course, that's where we leave it uh, for now. But uh, as we continue to place a spotlight on what's really happening uh, out in the community, seven weeks without water, the council are being there. At the end of the day, residents just want water back. Fonu, Tim Kulu for us on the story.